Daily Dosers, Tracy here. Thanks so much for joining us. We're continuing on in our theme of uh, the battle belongs to the Lord. And Larry started us off this week with um, prepare the horse for battle and then the Lord will do the rest of the work. And so I just want to continue on with that thought of like, what does that look like for us to prepare the horse for battle? And I think of a story, um, the whole book of Nehemiah is about the story, but I love how it starts and Nehemiah hears that um, the wall in Jerusalem is in rubble and his people are unprotected from the enemy and it really gets to his heart and he weeps and he prays and he prays and asks God to show him favor so that he can go and lead the people to build the wall. And it tells us between chapter one and chapter two that we know that there were several months that Nehemiah took in praying over this situation before he went before the king and he goes before the king and he gets favor and the king sends him on even with equipment. And in chapter four is where I wanna land with us today because it gives such a great piece of what Nehemiah did in the midst of a lot of criticism and confusion and frustration and the enemy really fighting back about them building the wall. And so in Nehemiah four, it starts um, over in chapter Four, verse four, it says, hear, O God, for we are despised. So he starts again with prayer of like, God, we've got to have you in the midst of this deal with our enemies. And he goes down and he talks about how there's criticism and there's confusion. And even they're, they're continuing to build and do the work. But now he says um, they've conspired together and they come and attack Jerusalem and create confusion. I think, boy, that sounds like today, doesn't it? There's just so much turmoil and chaos and confusion and we don't know. And the enemy is working hard to get us distracted and off course. But he says, nevertheless, we made our prayers to God. And because of them, we set watch against them day and night. So they did what they knew to do. They prayed. And then they went to work. So see, our prayers don't take the place of action. Our prayer make our actions effective for what God wants to do in any situation and in our lives. And then he talks more about the adversary. And then he says, this is part of the action that he does. Therefore, I positioned men behind the lower parts of the wall at the openings, and I set the people according to their families with their swords, their spears, and their bows. And I looked and arose and said to the nobles, to the leaders, and to the rest of the people, do not be afraid of them. Remember the Lord, great and awesome, and fight for your brethren, your sons, your daughters, your wives, and your houses. He says, don't worry, God's got this. And then it goes on to talk more about the wall being built. And he says, and then I said to the nobles, the rulers and the rest of the people, the work is great and extensive. And we are separated far from one another on the wall where wherever you hear the sound of the trumpet, rally to us there and our God will fight for us. And you know what I think about? I think about these, um, I have several, but hopefully you have at least one of a community of people that will come alongside you and pray for you and with you when a situation happens. I have several, so I have several different threads going or email lists going. And just last week, we had one um, from our life group that said, hey, will you pray for me? I'm feeling actually at peace, but I sense the enemy is on my heels. Will you all just cover me? And then just this morning before I got here, someone else sent a message in another thread and said, hey, will you pray for my sister today over in Colorado? She's having surgery and it's going to be really tough. And off it starts of people saying, I'm on it. I've got this. We've got you covered. Some of our my friends will send actual prayers out. And you may be thinking, you know, I don't think I need all that. I'll pray, but I don't need all that extra. But you know what that extra tells me? 
it tells me that they are arising and they are setting themselves up on the wall and they are linking arm in arm and they've got their armor and they're covering us. They're preparing and being ready for the battle that the enemy is bringing. And so I am so encouraged by that. And I want to encourage, we just spent a whole week on community and connection and why that's so important that we don't do this life alone. And this is no different. Preparing the horse for battle, that is us linking together. And when I hear and see the those threads of people coming through and saying they're praying, it just says, I've got this. I will stand on the wall. I hear the trumpet and not on our watch will we allow the enemy to do any damage to this, to my sister or my brother or my daughter or family or whomever it is that we're covering. So who is it that you have on your wall with you that when the trumpet sounds, you can go to them and you can all come together and say, our God will fight for us. We'll see you next time.